good morning children how are you all i hope you are all fine yes this is our mathematics section okay we have new lesson to today new chapter unit 5 exponents and parts okay we know that multiplication is a short form of repeated addition is it not similarly exponents are another form of representing repeated multiplication okay we can say that exponents are used to express large numbers in compact form okay in this chapter we shall learn how large numbers are expressed in exponential form also learn the different rules of exponents okay law of exponents 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 means when a number is multiplied by itself several times it can be expressed in exponential form 10 into 10 into 10 that means 10 multiplied 3 times is it not so we can write 10 raised to the power 3 okay here 10 is multiplied by 3 times is it not so here 10 power 3 is read as 10 raised to the power 3 here 10 is called the base and 3 is called the power okay 10 multiplied 3 times okay exponents have base and power 5 power 4 means 5 multiplied 4 times okay 9 raised to the power 2 that means 9 is the base 2 is the power 9 multiplied 2 times 4 raised to the power 3 means 4 multiplied 3 times next 3 power 4 that means 3 raised to the power 4 3 multiplied 4 times 3 is the base 4 is the power 2 raised to the power 5 that means 2 is the base 5 is the power that means 2 multiplied 5 times okay children next heading is numbers as exponents of their prime factors okay that means any number can be represented as the product of its prime factors prime factors prime numbers we know prime numbers what are the prime numbers what's the first prime number 2 is it not 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 17 etc is it not these are the prime factors use prime numbers to factorize the numbers okay use only prime numbers. okay children so here if the prime factors occur more than once then those prime factors can be represented in exponential form okay children so here first our first question is write the following in exponential form and after that and identify the base and the exponent okay first we have to write in exponential form using prime factors later identify the base and the exponent of that number okay here our first question is example 1 from page number 72 okay first question is 6561 first we have to factorize this 6561 using prime numbers yes after that we have to write in exponential form then only we can find we can identify the base and the exponent okay so we can uh, first we can find the exponential form okay first we have to factorize this number factorize this number use only prime numbers we know our first prime number is 2 is it not 2 is an even number See here six thousand five hundred and sixty one. This uh, one's place one is there. So this number is and not an even number. It's an odd number, isn't it? 
so we can't uh, uh, divide by 2 even prime number 2 is it not so we can give the next prime number 3 so first we have to check this number 6561 is divisible by 3 or not okay children so first we have to add the digits then we can check whether it is divisible by 3 or not see 6 plus 5 what is 6 plus 5 11 is it not 11 plus 6 17 17 plus 1 18 take the sum of the digit it is 18 18 is in the third table is it not so we can divisible this number by 3 okay take the sum of the digit if the num the sum is in the third table assure that number is divisible by 3 okay so this number is not divisible by 2 because this is an odd number so we can give the next prime number 3 okay 2 after 3 is the next prime number is it not so here we can divide 2 3s or 6s is it not then 5 divided by 3 1 3 is 3 then 5 minus 3 2 then that 2 and this 6 becomes 26 is it not so 8 3s are 24 we have 26 26 minus 24 2 is it not that 2 reminder 2 and this 1 becomes 21 so 7 3s are 21 ok so again now it's an odd number so it's not divisible by the first prime number 2 so we can check whether it is divisible by 3 or not ok that's the 3 is the next prime number use prime number only ok then 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 8 11 is it not 11 plus 7 18 ok 18 is in the third table so this number is divisible by the next prime number 3 ok 3 see 2 is not divisible by 3 so we can take 21 together 3 7s are 21 is it not next 8 2 3s are 6 is it not 8 is there 2 3s are 6 so 8 minus 6 2 reminder to 27 ok 9 3s are 27 ok now 7 oh, 29 729 is again on odd number so it's an odd divisible by 2 so next prime number 3 so 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 9 18 again it is divisible by 3 ok 3 2 are 6 7 minus 6 1 that 1 and 2 becomes 12 ok 4 3 are 12 next 9 3 3 are 9 ok again it's an odd number so it's a divisible by 3 ok 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 3 9 so it's a divisible by 3 is it not 8 3 is a 24 1 3 is 3 is it not again it's an odd number so it's a divisible by c 8 plus 1 9 is it not so it is divisible by 3 3 2 is 6 reminder to 21 7 3 is 21 ok Again 27, 2 plus 7, 9, it's in the third table. So 9, 3 is 27. Again we can divide. Okay, 3, 3 is 9. As you know, 3, 3 is 9. Again we can divisible by 3. 1, 3 is 3. We have to continue this process till we get the S quotient as 1. Okay, so, so what's our prime factors? 3 into 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 3 ok find the product of these um, factors that's the exponential form ok so 6561 is yes find the product of these uh, factors ok 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 ok so how many times 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8 times. Ok. So, 3 raised to the power 8. Ok children. This is the exponential form. We can write this as 3 raised to the power 8. That means 3 multiplied 8 times. Ok. Uh, after finding, write the following in exponential form. Then identify the base and the exponent. Say here what's the base? Yes, 3 is the base. 
What is the exponent? Yes. 8 is the exponent of power. Okay. Look at the next example, example children. 3125. Okay. First we have to factorize this. Then only we can write in exponential form. Later we have to identify the base and the exponent. Okay. 3125 we have to factorize using prime factors. Okay. See ones place 5 is there. So it is an odd number. So it is an odd divisible by the first prime number 2. Is it not? See here 5. So we can give the uh, prime number 5. Is it not? Divisible easily by the, divis uh, the prime factor. The prime number 5. Okay. So we can give 5. Okay. 6. 6 times. 6 is are 30. Is it not? Remainder 1. This 1 and this 2 becomes 12. 12. 5 twos are 10. Is it not? 5 twos are 10. Here 12 is there. 12 minus 10, 2. That 2 and this 5 becomes 25. Is it not? 5 fives are 25. Again the number ends with 5. So we can give the uh, prime number 5. Okay. So 1 5 is 5. 6 minus 5, 1. 1 and 2 becomes 12. 5 twos are 10. Here 12 minus 10, 2. 2 and 5 becomes 25. 5 fives are 25. Again ends with 5. So we can give the prime number 5. 5 twos are 10. 12 minus 10, 2. 2 and 5 becomes 25. 5 fives are 25. Okay. Again we can give 5. 5 fives are 25. Okay. Again 5. Yes. 1 5 is a 5. Okay. So here the in exponential form how will you write? 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. Okay. 3125 means in exponential form 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. That means 5 multiplied 5 times, is it not? So what is the base and what is the exponent here? Here 5 multiplied 5 times, so 5 is the base and power, that 5 is the exponent, is it not? Look at the next example children, 2187, okay, first we have to uh, yes, I express this in exponential form, okay, using prime factors. So, 2187, it's an odd number. So, it's an odd divisible by the first prime number 2. So, we can check whether it is divisible by 3 or not, okay. So, just add the sum, okay, sum of the digits. Then if the sum of the digit is divisible by 3, that number is divisible by 3, okay. So 2 plus 1, 3, is it not? 3 plus 8, 11. 11 plus 7, 11 plus 7, 18, okay. 18 is in the third table, is it not? So we can divisible by 3, okay. 3 seven are 21. Now reminder, 3 twos are 6. Here 8 we have, 3 twos are 6. So 8 minus 6, 2. That 2 and this 7 becomes 27. So 9, 3 is 27. Okay, again, it's an odd number. So 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 9, 18. So we can divisible by the prime number 3. Okay, 2, 3 is 6. 7 minus 6, 1. That 1 and 2 becomes 12. 4, 3 is 12. No reminder, 3, 3 is 9. Okay, again 2 plus 4, 6 plus 3, 9. It is divisible by 3. Okay, 3 eights are 24. 1, 3 is 3. Again, 8 plus 1, 9. It is divisible by 3. So, 3. Here 8 is there. 3, 2 is 6. Is it not 8 minus 6, 2. 2 and 1 becomes 21. 3, 7 is 21. Okay. So again divisible by 3, 9, 3 is 27. Again divisible by 3, 3, 3 is 9. Okay, again divisible by 3, 1, 3 is 3. Okay, we got the quotient 1, we can stop here. Then 
we can write this number 2187 in exponential form okay yes uh, 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, into 3, into 3 okay so this can be written in exponential form as okay like this so how many times 3 multiplied how many times yes 7 times is it not so 3 raised to the power 7 okay so here 3 is the base and power is the power is 7 okay exponent is 7 look at the next example 1024 okay we have to factorize this uh, using prime fan, prime numbers 1024 is an even number okay so we can give the for even prime number 2 okay 2 5s are 10 no remainder 1 2 is 2 2 2s two are 4 is not again it's an even number so we can divide by even prime number 2 okay 2 2s are 4 here 5 minus 4 1 1 and 1 this one becomes 11 so 5 2s are 10 11 minus 10 1 that 1 and this 2 becomes 12 6 2s are 12 ok again it is an even number so we can divide by 2 1 2 is 2 2 2 is 4 see 5 minus 4 1 that 1 and 6 becomes 16 8 2s are 16 ok again it is an even number so we can give even prime number 2 6 2s are 12 Okay, no reminder, then 8 is there, 4 to the 8. Okay, again it's an even number, 64 is an even number, so we can divide by even prime number 2. Okay, 3 to the 6, no reminder, 2 to the 4. Okay, again it's an even number, divide by even prime number 2. 1 to is 2. 3 is there, 3 minus 2, 1, that 1 and 2 becomes 12, 6, 2 is 12. Again, it is an even number, is it not? So, we can divide by 2, 2, 8s are 16. Again, we can divide by 2, 4, 2 is 8. Again, we can divide by 2, 2, 2 is 4. Again, we can divide by 2, 1, 2 is 2. Okay, now this number Yes, can be written in exponential form as 2 into 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 2. Okay, 10 times. Okay, 2 multiplied 10 times. So, we can write as 2 raised to the power 10. Okay, here base is 2 and exponent is 10. Okay. Look at the next example children. Which is smaller? 3 power 5 or 5 power 3. Okay. Which one is smaller? So here first we can find what is the value of 3 power 5. Next find what is the value of 5 power 3. After that we can easily identify which is smaller number. Okay. See first number is 3 raised to the power 5. Okay. 3 power 5. That means 3 multiplied 5 times. Okay. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Multiply 3 by 5 times. Okay. Say what is 3 into 3? 3 3's three are 9. Okay. 9 3's are 27. 27 3's are 27 3's are what is 27 into 3? 27 3's are yes 3 7's are 21. Reminder 2, 3 to 0, 6 plus 2, 8. Okay. Then, 81 into again 3. Okay. 81 into 3. 1, 3 is 3. 3, 8s are 24. So, what sign sir? 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 means we got 243. Okay. So, what is the value of 3 raised to the power 5? 243. Okay, now we have to find what is 5 raised to the power 3. 5 power 3. That means 5 multiplied 3 times. Okay, 5 into 5 into 5. Say what is 5 5s are 25. 25 5s are 125. Okay, 
So here 3 power 5 means 243, 5 power 3 means 125. Now say which one is smaller 125 or 243? Which is smaller number 243 is smaller or 125 is smaller? Yes 125 is a smaller number than 243 is it not? So, 125 is smaller than 243. Okay. 125 means we know 5 power 3. Is it not? So, 243 means we know 3 raised to the power 5. Okay. So, 5 power 3 is smaller than 3 power 5. Okay. Because 125 is a smaller number than 243. So we can conclude that 5 power 3 is a smaller number. Okay. Smaller than 3 power 5. Okay children. Children we have homeworks from book page number 74. Exercise 5a. First question from First question A to E subdivisions. Okay. Then from second sum only one subdivision A. Then third from third problem only A. Okay. Can you do? Okay. Do this as homework. Okay children.